So for part A, we know that here the the volume of water during the first 10 minutes would be equal to the volumetric flow rate. This would be equal to V sub 1 times T times A sub 1, where V sub 1 times A sub 1 would be the volumetric flow rate, and then times T would uh, give us the total volume V. So this would be equal to 15 meters per second. We're going to multiply this by 10, meet, uh, 10 minutes. There are 60 seconds per minute, so we have 600 seconds. And then this is going to be divided by pi over 4, multiplied by the diameter squared, 0, 0.03 meters quantity squared. And for part A, we have a volume of 6.4 cubic meters. For part B, we know that the section, the speed in the left section of the pipe, V sub 2 would equal V sub 1. The speed in the right section of the pipe multiplied by A sub 1 divided by A sub 2. So this would be equal to V sub 1 uh, multiplied by D sub 1 divided by D sub 2 quantity squared. Uh, this would be equal to 15 meters per second multiplied by 3.0 centimeters divided by 5.0 centimeters quantity squared and this is equaling 5.4 meters per second this would be the speed in the left section of the pipe uh, for part c we're going to apply bernoulli's equation and we can then say that uh, p sub 1 plus 1 half rho the density v sub 1 squared uh, plus rho g h. This would be equal to p sub 2 plus 1 half rho v sub 2 squared plus rho the density g h sub 2. My apologies, this has a, sub, a subscript of sub 1 as well. And we know here h sub 1 is equaling h sub 2. And we know that p sub 1 is equaling the atmospheric pressure, so P sub uh, P naught. We know at this point we can then solve for the pressure in the left section of the pipe. Uh, this would be equal to the atmospheric pressure plus one half times the density times V sub one squared minus V sub two squared. We can solve. This would be equal to 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth pascals, and then this would be a uh, plus one half multiplied by the density of water, 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, and then multiplied by 15 meters per second quantity squared minus 5.4 meters per second quantity squared and we find that the pressure in the left section of the pipe uh, would be equal to 1.99 times 10 to the fifth pascals. This would be our answer for part C. Uh, rather, this would be the, sorry, my apologies, this would be the actual, this would be the pressure in the left section of the pipe, but we want to see the, the gauge pressure. So the gauge pressure for part C would actually be equal to uh, P sub 2 minus the atmospheric pressure. So this would be equal to 1.99 minus 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth pascals, and this would be equal to 0.98 times 10 to the fifth pascals, or we can say 9.8 times 10 to the fourth pascals. This would be our pressure. That would be our answer for part C. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for.